So Bamboo Lab may be coming out with a brand new 3D printer, and actually we're fairly certain that they are. The new printer will be called, most likely, the Bamboo Lab A1. And here's a couple things they tweeted on their Twitter. Bamboo Lab uh, will once again light up the entrance to the realm of 3D printing or 3D multicolor printing on September 20th. So they're going to officially announce it on September 20th. It also says, rethink automatic flow dynamics calibration. Stay tuned for September 20th. Once again, Bamboo Lab new product release to witness the dawn of the next generation of flow control solution. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the deals with the flow control solution is, but you can tell here that there's some sort of uh, most likely either some sort of filament splicer or this could more likely be the, uh, the extruder slash hot end. Uh, keep quiet. I'm not keeping quiet. Uh, fast 3D printing is ongoing. Stay tuned for the September 20th. Bamboo Lab new product release. See how we could magically tune down the noise. So there's something about a... Um, uh, I've heard some rumors uh, about some sort of noise canceling device. Not sure what that is as well. But we do know some things for sure. Uh, they're planning on making a big splash with this announcement. There's been lots of teasers. Some official and some unofficial. And it appears that Bamboo Lab, were really, uh, we're pretty sure it's going to be a lower cost 3D printer. Whether or not it is a bed slinger is still up in the air. However, it seems like it could potentially be a bed slinger or a smaller uh, Core XY printer. So we're not sure on that yet. And uh, in terms of price, it's going to be cheaper most likely at around uh, $499 USD or less in my opinion. Um, they are most likely coming up with, or it is confirmed actually, that they will be coming out with two new 3D printers. And whether or not they are slightly different versions of the same printer, we have yet to see. That's why I think there might be a 499 uh, 3D printer, uh, as well as maybe even a cheaper 3D printer um, to really break into the lower price point market. And here, I'm fairly certain this is real. It'd be very hard to fake this. So I'm saying this is confirmed that the build surface area is definitely smaller than the current Bamboo Lab 3D printer lineup. So here you see this was uh, leaked by Power 3D. I don't think uh, he was supposed to leak this, but uh, we have the regular uh, Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon or the P1P or the P1S build plate. You can see it's 256 by 256. So this looks like the new build plate will be about the same size as an Ender 3, uh, probably around 210 by 210 millimeters. Now, how do we know it's called the Bamboo Lab A1? We're not 100% sure on this. However, uh, if you look through the Bamboo Lab officially filed trademarks, you can see Bamboo Lab A1 was filed on July 11th, 2023. So it's uh, registered under the category of 3D printers. So it pretty much confirms that it's going to be a, there's going to be a 3D printer called the A1, most likely. Um, that, once again, that's not 100% confirmed yet. Um, there's also the XE1, uh, maybe Europe, I'm not sure about that, or the X1S. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, X1 small, I don't know. I'm not sure S1 smart, X1 small. I don't know about that, but these are also some potential... Uh, printers that will come out in the future. So uh, we're breaking the info as it leaks. Uh, so right now, this is what we have. But there's also um, another really interesting thing that I found. Um, this is separate from the new release on the 20th of September. Um, there's a new type of 3D printer that Bamboo Lab is coming up with. And it's uh, a photo curing 3D printer. So you kind of think about it as a, a hybrid between a a resin and an FDM 3D printer. So it, it moves like an FDM 3D printer with an extruder, but instead of extruding plastic, it extrudes uh, resin and cures it instantly. So there's real-time curing and something about some dual elimination system. I have no idea what this means, but apparently they're able to get the resin or whatever material they're using to cure really fast. And it has a different uh, adaptable print head. Uh, so once again, all this, this is separate from the new release. This is far in the future, or maybe it will never happen. We're not sure, but this would be amazing. So the adaptable print head uh, basically means you could swap out the print head for uh, different materials. So that's all we have right now on the Bamboo Lab A1. And once again, the name is not been, has not been confirmed yet, but we, we do know for sure that there are two 
different either models or variations of a 3D printer um, at a lower price point with a at least one has a smaller build plate. So that's all we have for now. I'll be breaking the news um, as we get more info. Uh, so follow along, uh, 3dprinteracademy.com. I'll be posting it on this blog right here.